So therefore, here you have got two sides, production and market, production and consumption. So this is point number one, and, and we shall see the implications of that. Once this is very clear, that a society cannot be prosperous unless it produces and markets what it produces with a chivaro, because you must do so with a chivaro, because sometimes you can produce without a chivaro. A chivaro is the, the, the in, in, in Achori we, 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 we call it chura. Chura in Achori, in uh, Ate Swakara Majong we call it Aymar. And when you do that, somebody must buy it. Because if you produce and nobody buys, <laughs> prosperity will not be there. Uh, now, the second mission is strategic security. To have security of our people against all threats, uh, internal, external, we need that. You can see what is happening in Africa today, the chaos in, uh, in Sudan, in Congo, in, in Mali, in uh, Burkina Faso, in uh, now Niger, in Chad, in all those places. This is because the, the, the political class don't know what to do. Those were the mistakes. Identity. Mm -hmm. And for us, we are saying, no, yes, identity is important to some extent that you, you know customs, how to get married, how to do this, how to do that. Okay, that's good, but all of you you have similar needs. Whatever group you are, you have similar needs. You, you need food, you need medicine, you need shelter, you need education, you need security, you need jobs, you need infrastructure, roads. Ah, so since your needs are the same, why don't we emphasize the people's needs? Because the needs are similar. That was our argument. So strategic security meant capacity to build a force, a defense infrastructure, and law and order infrastructure to guarantee peace for Ugandans so that they can produce goods and services, that's what Magambo was telling you, <laughs> that CID is not just uniforms and, uh, and saluting and so on. CID is to ensure that we have, got, we have no crime so that people can do number one, produce goods and services so that they get prosperity. So when you get a CID officer who is not doing his work or her work, he's undermining our prosperity. Yeah. When you hear that uh, an old woman has died because of poverty in the village, huh? the CID may have contributed by not doing their work. Because how will people produce goods or services even now, as, as I speak now, we are giving this PDM. Even now, there are, there are those cases. We are, we are giving PDM to uh, PDM this uh, helping the, your villagers, your relatives, to get out of poverty. 
by, by giving them cows, by giving them chicken, goats, but they are stolen. Theft, theft is rampant, I hear. Uh, theft. So therefore, with the NRM, we say, you people, in order to get prosperity, you need patriotism, you need pan-Africanism, you need social economic transformation, you need democracy. And those mean that you, you need to unite. So therefore, we don't accept the other line of saying you'd be divided. We say you'll you, you be united. And we say, by the way, do you know that you are similar? God created you in you are similar people. Slight differences, slight differences. When I, when I go to these rallies, I don't, like in most of these areas, Busoga, Uganda, I, I don't use translators. Because I can understand what they are talking about. So therefore, anybody, you cadres who work for the Republic of Uganda, it is, it is important that you get this logic of the NRM. That this logic of telling you, love Uganda, love Africa, is not just for loving. It is because you need it. Your people need it. Your parents need it for their prosperity. That is the main message. So when you come back in September... If now, Your Excellency, before I just make one or two uh, remarks about this effort, allow me uh, to first of all express our sincere appreciation uh, for the recent promotions you gave us in Uganda Police. Uh, they had taken quite some time, Your Excellency, but I'm particularly happy because the CID, uh, we managed to get 1,900 officers who were promoted in this last batch. This was after eight to almost 12 years. So it has given us a bit of good morale. But in this audience alone, Your Excellence, of 71 students, 46 of them were promoted to the rank of superintendent of police. And I want to ask them to stand up. Here, Your Excellency, plus this of 71, we shall have covered a total of 210 officers who are mainly our frontline workers, because these are the ones manning the districts. And we hope, Your Excellency, that if we achieve this target, then we are going to reduce on the excuses, especially when it comes to serving our people, because the district is the main, main center of where the complaints are, the corruption, the, all these other things. So we are very optimistic, Your Excellency, that with your guidance, we are moving well. But as you recall, Your Excellency, the above trainings are in addition to the other three batches you trained for us uh, the 136, that is in 2022, at Kaseng. Next year, our priority is to go now lower on the inspectorates of police, and then we can train. And eventually, I'm optimistic we are going to build a critical mass. And then with the necessary tools and the necessary command and control, I think CID will be able to contribute immensely to the socioeconomic transformation agenda. Now, these 71 students, they are, we have, they are just two ranks, the superintendents of police and then the assistant superintendents of police. And they are all holding portfolios, as I've indicated, Your Excellency. The hybrid training we have developed, Your Excellency, is mainly handling two aspects. We are taking them through their ideological development and then the technical aspects of investigating criminal cases. Now, on the ideology, we have emphasized in the curriculum uh, to teach our officers where we are coming from as a country. 
our history, our challenges, and then where we are after all these years, how much has been achieved, and then where are we going? So basically those three aspects have defined our syllabus of ideology. And we think this has grounded our officers to connect the role of CID with the social economic transformation agenda. Because we, as we have said, Your Excellency, before, where there is crime, you don't expect good investments. You don't expect that tourist to come in our country and spend a good holiday here. So we are trying to, to, to turn the minds of CID to appreciate where we are going and what their specific role should be in that historical uh, mission.